Hello, I'm John and I live here. Uh, actually, I don't. I live down there. Heavily converted uh, caravan. Uh, off grid. Uh, but I'm building this new wood house and this is my idea for a bicycle project. So this is my outdoor shower. Uh, and the idea is to collect the water from the shower and recycle it into a toilet. So the water drains from the shower. It goes into a cistern and then the cistern pumps the water back into a flushing toilet. So, I got a cistern, a bicycle, a couple of PVC tubes. And I'm thinking that uh, rather, than doing, rather than doing a bucket system, as was pointed out in Mr. Roberts' videos, I think I'm going to do a plunger kind of pump, a reciprocal pump, rather than chains and things like that. Uh, I think just a reciprocal pump would be really good because I have to go up a very steep angle. All right, so shower water goes there, and then now I got to bring it up from lower than ground level and then put it into uh, the uh, Autoclismo, as we call it here in Portugal, uh, the thing that you flush. Here's my workshop and my bicycles. No, I'm not going to cut up my electric assist cargo trike. Uh, <laughs> that's my primary form of transportation. But people gift me all kinds of bikes. Um, the kitty bikes are actually really easy to come by. Uh, and so... Some one of these is going to be the one that I use, and you know, quick view of the workshop. Okay, the first thing I need to do is make a pump, and a simple way to make a pump is a piston pump. And for a piston pump, you need something like this, which is a valve that allows the water to come up, but when there's pressure on the valve, it doesn't allow the water to recede. So beautiful brass component, lovely, uh, 10 euro. But you could probably do the same thing with a, uh, a uh, garden hose connector. Uh, that is one of these garden hose connectors that if you don't have your sprayer uh, in, in the mount, it's not going to flow. But in that case, you're going to want to turn it the other way, right? Because you want flow up, but you don't want flow down. Here you have flow up. Uh, you have flow out, but you don't have flow in. So the, again, the, you want flow in, but you don't want flow out. Uh, so that, that, that should work uh, also if you're really a cheapskate. But for 10 euro, you can get one of these suckers, uh, at, which is actually designed for the task. Uh, water comes up, water does not go down. Okay, so to make a pump, the first thing you need is a piston. So I got a plastic tube and a steel rod from uh, a tent that somebody gave me. So what I'm going to do, really simply, is I'm just going to start wrapping some tape around the end until it until it uh, achieves the diameter inside diameter of my tube. So here's my rod, taping it up. So after a few trials and errors, I think I have the right amount of tape on the end of my rod uh, and uh, that fits nice and snug into my piston. So I got a rod 
and I got a piston. Uh, same thing as what is in your car. So I got my tube. I got my one-way valve. It fits okay. Tape, tape, tape. Just tape it up. Ah, too much. Still too much. Still too much. Snuggish. That's snug. Whatever. Get rid of the rest of the tape. There it is. My piston. Okay, I got my tube with the one way valve. I got a bucket full of water. I got a piston. Push the piston, you can already see. And now if I just, I don't, oh, I don't even need this section. I'm pumping water. Pumping water. So now the challenge. I'm pumping water on both strokes. Easier on the upstroke. Uh, now the challenge is to make a reciprocal crank so I can pump the water from the shower into the toilet. 